All right, guys, one thing that I'm not a huge fan of with my 94 Mustang GT convertible here is the rear factory spoiler. Now, I do like these cars with a spoiler. I think for some reason, this generation car looks kind of weird without one. I do really like the new edge, the 99 to 04 without a spoiler. They look pretty cool, but this one just, it needs to have a spoiler. And you know, I'm not super against this one, but one that I really like is the saline, the S281 or whatever style spoiler. So I ended up picking up one of those, check this bad boy out, got this thing painted, it's fiberglass, comes with hardware, comes with this little, you know, gasket stuff. Got this off eBay from a company called The Spoiler Company. Get this, this thing was 250 bucks shipped plus taxes. So for Michigan, 6% is like 263 bucks shipped with paint. Now without paint, it was about $100 cheaper. So you got this thing painted for 100 bucks. Now I could not go anywhere locally and get this thing painted with base coat, clear coat like they did in my factory Rio red color for a hundred bucks. So uh, I took a gamble on it. You literally just click checkout on eBay. They said, put in your factory color code and we'll see how it goes. And I was a little bit concerned because my paints, you know, it's original paint from 94, right? So it's 30 years old and uh, it looks pretty dang spot on. So I think it's definitely going to be close enough to not have any issues. So first things first, let's get this old spoiler off. <laughs> Now, I've watched a couple of videos on the installation. It should be really simple. We just got four bolts, uh, but I've seen where some guys have had trouble with the new spoiler, the holes that they already have on there not lining up with the factory. And so then we have to re-drill it, which is no big deal. But I looked at how mine are. They look pretty good. So I'm hoping they're gonna work, but let's get this thing off and uh, try to get the new one test fitted. So the bolts for these were 11 millimeters. Let's see if we can just get this right off. Okay, cool. All right, so this bad boy will be for sale if anyone needs a very nice Rio Red spoiler. Now, we gotta actually get these bolts out. Before we get too far, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and try to clean this up a little bit. Man, there is some serious 30 years of dirt. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna kind of wipe this thing down real quick. Um, just make sure we got a good sealing surface for this kind of gasket material, the crap that's on there, get this clean, and then we'll proceed. Top of this came clean, easy peasy. So it looks beautiful, we're ready to rock. Now, one thing I wanted to do here is all they give us are these kind of crappy little screws, you know? They're not even, they're just some galvanized freaking like house screws. So that's okay, but they didn't, you know, it's not a very wide base. So I ended up having some washers laying around. These are some nice stainless washers. So I'm gonna put those washers on, that way it's a little bit more close to the original diameter of the original bolt that was going on there. Um, so yeah, so we got four of those. We're gonna go ahead and let's get this thing on. Let's see if they all line up. And if so, it'll be easy. If not, we're gonna have to drill some new holes into this uh, fiberglass. So just like we suspected, the holes do not line up at all. So basically uh, for these things to work, they want like the rear, this right side of the spoiler is like way the heck back here, totally freaking crooked. So I almost feel like based on the number of other videos I've seen where it's screwed up, they just, they just stab four holes in and they don't give a crap where they are. So that's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend a minute here. We're gonna get this thing completely lined up how we like it, where we want it. I'm gonna mark four holes with my Sharpie and then we're just gonna pop it back off and uh, drill out the little holes, that's it. There's nothing to it. It's literally just some fiberglass, so we're just gonna draw a really small pilot hole, and that way when we uh, thread our screw in, you know, hopefully it doesn't crack or break the fiberglass, and then uh, we should be good to go. So, should be pretty simple. Measure twice, cut once, right? Oh, 
All right, so over here on this side, you can see the hole's off a bit, right? And this one's off, same thing. Got to go down a little bit. Now, I was able to use this hole. This one seems fine. And then this one is just off a little bit over there. So reasonably close, but what the heck, guys? Why can't you guys get this crap straight? Anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, just get a real small little pilot hole. Probably not even as big as they used here, and uh, we'll drill this stuff out. All right, guys, so I got it all bolted back in. You want to make sure you don't over tighten these things because they are just going into fiberglass. But you can see my nice little washer. I put these things back. And so we're all good. It seems like it's pretty tight. Let's see. I can lower it down by hand. Yeah, thing's not moving anywhere. Check it out. Look at that. Sick. Love it so much more. I think it's going to look so cool. Just makes the car just look longer, right? with the uh, convertible action. So pretty sweet. Can't wait to get this thing running in the next week and out of here. And then we can actually see it out in the daylight. But that's it. If you want to get a saline spoiler for your Mustang, I would check out the guys over on uh, eBay. What is it called? The Spoiler Company. Again, 250 bucks. Yeah, I had to make a couple little drill holes and stuff. But dude, the paint on this thing looks freaking awesome. It matches my 30-year-old car perfectly. I mean, look at this thing. Ah, oh, so stoked. So I think it's a great deal for 250 bucks. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll catch you boys on the next one.